Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful Morgana Crochet Shawl. The Morgana Crochet Shawl is a spectacularly fun and festive use of color work and lace in a crochet shawl. You can make this gorgeous shawl in one color or use a trio of colors for extra fun. This top-down construction hexagon-shaped shawl moves quickly with an easy-to-memorize stitch pattern. The color sequence and ornate edging are simple to learn and add a lot of dramatic flair. We're going to start with learning how to read the written line-by-line -line instructions and charts. Then I'll show you how to crochet the very simple four-row repeat of this increasing top-down half-hexagon shawl. Then I'll show you how to create this gorgeous edging. And then in the final video, I'm going to show you how to weave in the loose ends and block this beautiful shawl with Rapture All Natural Delicate Wash. Let's get started. Before we begin the shawl, it's important to understand how to read a pattern. So if you start at the beginning, it will describe what you will need. So there's a list of the type of yarn to use or substitute, the size crochet hook you'll need, and any other notions you'll need. There's information on gauge, although with a shawl, gauge is not exactly critical, but it's still good to know if you're substituting yarn. And then the finish size. The finished size is based on blocking your shawl, which we'll get to at the end of this video series, and also based on using the same yarn. The next section is the stitch glossary, and this is where it explains the definition how to do each stitch that we'll be using in the pattern. Also, please follow the link in your pattern and in this video so that you can watch a video tutorial specific to each and every one of these stitches. We'll be using a chain stitch, a single crochet, slip stitch, double crochet, treble crochet, and all of that is done in video form for each stitch with right hand, left hand, and slow motion tutorials. Next we come to the chart. There are two charts in this pattern. First is the chart to do the top-down construction for the shawl, which is a half hexagon in shape, and then it will get to the edging chart afterwards. And what you'll need to know for reading charts is the key. And the key describes what the symbols are in the chart and what stitch they represent. So we'll be doing the chain, single crochet, double crochet, and treble crochet. So in this chart, we start here at row one, and notice how each row is alternated in color, and this is so you can easily see where one row ends and the next one begins. This is also based on doing the shawl in one color. If you're going to do the shawl with any number of multicolors, you can actually stripe it in any number of sequences. The shawl as shown has been done with three colors, alternating between one row of one color and three rows of the next color. But you could do it alternating two colors every other row, or honestly, you could do any number of striping sequences. Once you understand how to read the chart, then you can also support what you read in the chart with line-by-line -line instructions. And so it starts with reading the row line-by-line -line instructions for the shawl, and then once we get to a certain point, it tells you what to repeat so once you've established the pattern, you can repeat in the established pattern for the remainder of the shawl. After that, we will get to the edging. Please join me for the next several videos as we crochet the shawl, the edging, weave in our loose ends, and block this beautiful shawl to all of its glory. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them for me in the comments. And please make sure to watch the next video so you can learn even more about how to make the Morgana shawl. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.